Your camera don't lie, you're coming back down and you really don't mind. You had a bad day. Oh, holiday. Sometimes the system goes on the blink and the whole thing, it turns out wrong. You might not make it back and you know that you could be where all oh, that's strong. And I'm not wrong. Yeah, 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 yeah. So where is the passion when you need it the most? Oh, you and I believe that the magic is lost. Cause you had a bad day, you're taking one down. You sing a sad song just to turn it around. You say you don't know, you tell me don't lie. You work at a smile and you go all right. You had a bad day, you seen what you like. And how does it feel for one more time? You had a bad day. You had a bad day. Okay. Oh yeah, that's what I was gonna do. Yeah, that's what I wanna do. You hear? Okay. Yeah. Uh, ads. Oh yeah, but they know it's Wonder Boy. If you know who that was done by. Okay. High above the mucky muck, castle made of clouds. There sits Wonder Boy, sitting oh so proudly. Not much to say when you're high above the mucky muck. Yeah, yeah, Wonder Boy. What is the secret of your power? Wonder Boy, won't you take me far away from the mucky muck man? <sighs> now it's time to tell you about young nasty man. Archival and nemesis of Wonder Boy with powers comparable to Wonder Boy. Hmm. Where is your ask? I don't know. I'm well, fight. I'm not doing anything rare. That's my their homes. I thought to kill a yak from 200 yards away. <laughs> Behind the bullets. It's head like a Nisus, Kyle. How about the power? To move you. Misery of Wonder Boy and Young Nasty Man. Real Goog. Here to behold. A go chest to behold. I'm blasting forth of many hard harmony. Go. Wonder Boy. What is the secret of your power? Wonder Boy. You take me far away from the mucky muck man. Anyway, <sighs> <sighs> young nasty man, joined forces, they formed a band of legs of which I've never been seen. They call themselves Tenacious D. That's right. To me. AKG. To me. <laughs> Tenacious D. With me. Hey, hey. Ow. Wonder Boy. What is the secret of your power, Wonder Boy? Wonder, take me far away from the mucky muck now. Oh, take my hand, young nasty man. 
Uh-huh. Okay, there you go. Is that it? Yeah. Do you know who that was? No. I said the the the, the name of the band was in the song. Okay. Nace is the. Huh? With Jack Black. KG. Nothing. No, not at all. I know who Jack Black is. You feel me? Yeah. Interesting. How am I supposed to do this and take a block? So, are you gonna sing anymore or are you done? Give me a second. Uh, around midnight. Um, I thought. <laughs> that's you. I know you're singing around midnight. Because you are you and you like doing things like that. What? I don't know. I uh, freaked the wrong one! Oh, man. I've got to go grab this again. Waiting on the world to change. John Mayer. Yeah, I love this song. Me and all my friends were all misunderstood. They say we stand for nothing and there's no way we ever could. Now we see everything that's gone wrong With the world and those who lead it We just feel like we don't have the means To rise above and beat it So we keep waiting, waiting Waiting on the world to change We keep on waiting, waiting Waiting on the world to change It's hard to beat the system When we're standing at a distance so we keep on waiting, waiting, waiting on the world to change. Now if we had the power to bring our neighbors home from work, they would have never missed a Christmas, no more redders on that door. Now you trust the television, what you get is what you got. Cause when they own the information, oh, they can bend it all they want. So while we're waiting, Waiting, waiting on the world to change. <gasps> we keep on waiting, waiting, waiting on the world to change. It's not that right. Yeah, it's not that we don't care. We just know that the fight is fair, so we keep on waiting, waiting, waiting on the world to change. We're still waiting, waiting, waiting on the world to change. One day our generation is gonna rule the population. So keep, we keep on waiting, waiting, waiting for the world to change. Done. Okay. Um. So I guess it's me then again. How the fuck do I get up there? Oh, duh. My god. Let me get to one song real quick. Um. Okay. I have heavy metal song. I don't want. No, I'm not singing heavy metal. But. I will sing a song. For my childhood. It's got a remember the name now. Okay. Give me a moment. Um I think we're getting hard about this one. Are you kidding Can me? What? Nothing, just games being annoying. I hate that. You gonna keep singing? Oh, who me? Yeah, you. I'm thinking of a song. I can't think of it right now. You were just singing. Oh, what? I was. Yeah. What? What was I singing? Sounded I... like it. No, I'm thinking you of a song right me, now. You want me to sing something? You can't. You want to? But take the one song for twelve o'clock. No, I could sing something. I have a special song planned for twelve o'clock. I could sing a random song I have from memory that's ten minutes long. Want to? Oh, 
I'll just do the one song I ever finished when you came back. Uh, Manage of the World by Nirvana. Well, David Bowie, I should say. <clears throat> we passed upon the stairs. We spoke and was a win. Although I wasn't there. He said I was his friend. Which came as a surprise I spoke into his eyes I thought you died alone A long, long time ago Oh no, not me We've never lost control Your face to face with the man who saw the world I laughed and shook his hand And made my way back home I searched a foreign land For years and years down on I gazed the gaze and stared we walked a million hills, I must have died a long, a long time ago. Who knows? Not me. I've never lost control. Your face to face with the man who sold the world. Oh no. Not me, we never lost control. We're face to face with the man who saw the world. That's pretty good. I almost lost to all hell right now. Oh, let me see where you are. I'm currently doing two things. Ooh, okay. Oh, he, oh, this puzzle. Uh, is Jess is still sleeping, she's super tired, so I can't begin until she's woken up. I've tried messaging people to know we will do it, so can you cover another, uh, cover possible 40 minutes to okay. one hour if needed? I'm fine, yeah, sure. Kay. It's sad that WireWiki left five to gamers. Yeah. I'm correct, you need to... Okay, oh. I know what you need to do, I know what you need to do. E EDF, I, got, I gotta tell you something, they're making an Angel Beats video game now. <laughs> they are? Yeah, it's a visual novel. Okay. Okay, well, I need you to, okay. Um, uh, Jay. What? On the wall to your complete right. Not in there, not in there. Not in that area, not in the small room. Go back outside. First off, there. Stop hitting the laser. Okay. Okay, the, the game's delayed a little. Okay. Oh. Wait, are you even listening to me? I am listening to you, it's just lagged. I know. Okay. So the way you need to do this. Okay. Okay. So just put a portal on the wall. Now aim. Um. Okay. You have three lasers, so you have three cubes. Two cubes. Okay. Okay, so you need the angle. Okay, what we need to do is. I can't. Okay, it's hard to. I need you to turn to the turn right, yeah. or just be in the corner where the camera is. We need to see the whole room. Hang on a minute. I know what I want to do here. Or you can do what you want to do, and this might work or might fail. Either one. Either way. I know what to do. Who I figured it out. Why are you doing it taunting me though? I'm not trying to taunt you, I'm just, just making that song for I know. Okay. So then I want this one to go farther and go here. You need to put all, all of the laser fit one portal. Yes, and I just did so. Good. Okay, what did I want to say? Oh. You want me to sing the 10 minute song? You want to? Okay. Which one? Albuquerque oh. or trapped in the drive-thru? Mm. 
No choice. If you don't know them, go by name alone. Both ten minutes long. Doesn't matter to me. Shadow? Huh? Which one would you prefer? Trapped in the drive through or Albuquerque? Well, it's only like five minutes until the song I want to sing. It was well, like for five minutes, and you can sing after. I mean, I think it's special for 12 o'clock. It's a ten minute song, and I but I can stop when it reaches midnight. Or you can just... Oh, well, it's gotta be two minutes before midnight, because the song is in fact called Two Minutes to Midnight. Okay, just tell me when... Just choose. Uh, I don't care. First one. Okay, so I'm gonna go for the second one. Because I would actually prefer to sing Albuquerque now. Albuquerque. So... Way back when I was just a little bitty boy, living in a box under the stairs in the corner of the basement in the house, half a block down the street from Jerry's Bait Shop. You know the place. Well, anyway, back then life was going swell and everything was just peachy! Except, of course, for the undeniable fact that every single morning, my mother made me a big old bowl of sauerkraut for breakfast. Da, Big bowl of sauerkraut! Every single morning! It was driving me crazy. I said to my mom, I said, Hey, Mom, what's up with all the sauerkraut? And my dear sweet mother, she just looked at me like a cow looks at an oncoming train. And she leaned right down next to me. And she said, It's good for you! Then she tied me to the wall and stuck a funnel in my mouth and forced me nothing but sauerkraut until I was 26 and a half years old. That's when I swore that someday, someday I would get out of the basement and travel to a magical faraway place where the sun is always shining and the air smells like warm root beer and the towels are oh so fluffy with the Shriners and the leopard sprays of ukuleles all day long and anyone on the street will gladly shave your ass for a nickel. Waka waka doo doo, yeah, let me tell you people. <clears throat> Let me tell you, people, it wasn't hard at all before the dream came true. Because the very next day, a local radio station had this contest to see who could correctly guess the number of molecules on Leonard Nimoy's butt. Well, I was off by three, but I still won the grand prize. That's right, a world-class one-way ticket to Albuquerque. Albuquerque. No, I'd never been on a real airplane before, but I had to tell you, it was really great. Except I had to sit between two large Albanian women with excru excruciatingly severe body odor, and the little kids in back of me kept throwing up the whole time. The flight attendants ran out of Dr. Pepper and salted peanuts, and the in-flight movie was by at home with Polly Shore, and oh yeah, three of the airplane engines burned out, and we went into a tailspin and crashed into a hillside, and the plane exploded in a giant fireball, and everybody died. Except for me... You know why? Cause we had a tray, cause I had my tray table up, and my seat back in the full upright position, and my tray table up, and my seat back in the full upright position, and my tray table up, and my seat back in the full upright position. <laughs> so I crawled from the twisted, burning wreckage. I crawled on my hands and knees for three full days, dragging along my big leather suitcase and my garment bag and my tenor saxophone and my 12-pound bowling ball and my lucky, lucky autograph glow-in-the-dark snorkel. But finally I arrived at the world-famous Albuquerque Holiday Inn where the towels are oh so fluffy and you can eat your soup right out of the ashtrays if you wanna. It's okay, they're clean. Well, anyway, I checked into my room, and I turned down the AC, and I turned on the SpectraVision, and I just about ate that little chocolate mint on my pillow that I love so very, very much, when suddenly there's a knock on the door. Well, who could that be? I say, who is it? No answer. Who is it? There's no answer. Who is it? They're not saying anything. So finally, I go over, and I open the door, and just as I suspected... It's some big fat from Aphrodite with a flock of seagulls haircut and only one nostril. Oh man, I hate it when I'm right. Well, anyway, he checked in my room and he turned down Jay, the... Jay, oh, Jay, Jay. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's two minutes to midnight, I get it. Alright. Kill for gain or shoot to maim. We don't need a reason. The golden goose is on the loose and never out of season. Black and price still burns inside the shell of bloody treason. Here's my gun for a barrel of fun, for the love of living death. 
The killers breed on the demon scene. The glamour, the fortune, the pain. Go to war again. Blood is freedom stain. Don't you pray for my soul anymore. Two minutes to midnight. The hands that threat I do. Two minutes to midnight to kill the unborn in the womb. Blind men shout that the creatures now will show the unbelievers. The napalm screams of human flint of a broad time bells and beast. Yeah, as the trees and of the garden cut their meat and lick the gravy. We are the jaws of the war machine and feed him with our babies. The killers breed on the demon seed. The glamour, the fortune, the pain. Go to war again. Love but it's freedom stone, but you pray for my soul anymore. Two minutes to midnight, as a threat I do. Two minutes to midnight, to kill the unborn in the womb. The body bags and little rags of children torn in two, and the jelly brains of those remain to put the finger right on you. As the madmen play a wood and make us all dance to the song, to the tune of starving millions, make a better kind of gun. The killers breed on the demon seed, the glamour, the fortune, the pain. Go to war again, blood is freedom stain. Don't you pray for my soul? Two minutes to midnight, the hands that threat I do. Two minutes to midnight to kill the unborn in the womb. Midnight, 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 it's all night. Midnight, 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 it's all night. Midnight, all night. God, how long that song was. That's it? Yeah. Okay, then. Well, anyway, he burst into my room and he grabbed my lucky snorkel and I'm like, Hey, you can't have that. That snorkel has just been just like a snorkel to me. And he's like, tough. And I'm like, give it. He's like, make me. And I'm like, okay. So I grabbed his leg and he grabbed my esophagus and I bit off his ear and he chewed off my eyebrows and I took out his appendix and he gave me a kawanic irrigation. Yes, indeed, you better believe it. And somehow in the middle of it all, the phone got knocked off the hook. And 30 seconds later, I heard a familiar voice. And you know what it said? I'll tell you what it said. It said, if you'd like to make a call, please hang up and try again. If you need help, hang up and then dial your operator. If you'd like to make a call, please hang up and try again. If you need help, hang up and then dial your operator in Albuquerque. Albuquerque. Well, long story short, he got away with my snorkel. But I made a solemn vow right then and there that I would not rest. I would not sleep for an instant till the one nostrilled man was brought to justice. But first I decided to buy some donuts. So I got in my car and I drove over to the donut shop and I walked on up to the guy behind the counter and he said, Yeah, what do you want? I'm like, you got any glazed donuts? He said, No, we're out of glazed donuts. I said, well, you got any jelly donuts? He said, no, we're out of jelly donuts. 
I said, you got any Bavarian cream-filled donuts? He said, no, we're out of Bavarian cream-filled donuts. I said, you got any cinnamon rolls? He said, no, we're out of cinnamon rolls. I said, you got any apple fritters? He said, no, we're out of apple fritters. I said, well, you got any bear claws? He said, wait a minute. I'll go check. No, we're out of bear claws. Well, in that case, in that case, what do you have? He says, all I got right now is this box of one dozen starving crazed weasels. I said, oh, okay, I'll take that. So he hands me the box and I open up the lid and the weasels jump out and they immediately latch onto my face and start biting me all over. Oh, it was just going nuts. They were tearing me apart. And, <clears throat> and as luck would have it, that's exactly when I ran into the girl of my dreams. Her name was Zelda. She was a polygraphy enthusiast with a slight overbite and hair the color of strained peaches. I'll never forget the very first thing she said to me. She said, hey, you got weasels on your face. And that's when I knew it was true love. We were inseparable after that. Oh, we ate together, we bathed together, we even shared the same piece of mint-flavored dental floss. The world was our burrito. So we got married and we bought us a house and had two beautiful children, Nathaniel and Superfly. Oh, we were so very, very, very happy. Oh, yeah. <coughs> but then one fateful night, Zelda said to me, she said, Sweetie Pumpkin, do you want to join the Columbia Record Club? And I said, whoa, hold on now, baby. I'm just not ready for that kind of a commitment. So we grew up and I'll, so we... Uh, so we broke up, and I never saw her again, but that's just the way things go. In Albuquerque. Albuquerque. Oh, shit. About a week later, I finally achieved my lifelong dream. Got me a part-time job at the Sizzler. I even made employee of the month after I put out that grease fire with my face. Yeah, everyone was pretty jealous of me after that. I was getting lots of attitude. Oh yeah, like one time, I was standing, I was standing in the parking lot trying to take out my excess earwax with a golf pencil. And I see this guy Marty trying to carry a big old sofa up the stairs all by himself. So I say to him, I say, hey, you want me to help you with that? And Marty, he just rolls his eyes and goes, no, I want you to cut off my arms and legs with a chainsaw. So I did. Then he gets all indignant on me. He says, hey man, I was just being sarcastic. That's just great. How was I supposed to know that? I'm not a mind reader for crying out loud. But now he's got a really cute nickname. Torso Boy. So what's he complaining about? Well, that, that reminds me of another music anecdote. This guy walks up to me on the street and tells me he hasn't had a bite in three days. Well, I knew what he meant, but just to be funny, I took a big bite out of his jugular veins. And he's rolling around on the sidewalk, bleeding and screaming, Ah! 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 I said, hey, man, come on, can't you take a joke? He's like, he's completely missing the irony of the whole situation. And some people just can't take a joke, you know? Anyway, um, where was I? Kind of lost my train of thought. Oh, uh, okay, anyway, well, I guess the whole point I'm trying to make here is I hate sauerkraut! That's all I'm really trying to say. Oh, yeah, I know, yeah, if you ever find yourself in an existential quandary full of loathing and self-doubted rats with a pain in isolation of your pitiful, meaningless existence, at least you can take a small bit of comfort in knowing that somewhere out there in this crazy old mixed-up universe of ours, there's still a little place called Albuquerque. Albuquerque 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 I said A A L L B B U U Kirky Kirky Okay, that's the end. That sounded more like a conversation than an actual fucking song. It's a song. <laughs> it's, but I don't think we have a shadow on that one, though. I'm saving the different turret.
Where the hell am I going? None of these places seem like places I should actually be going. You're going the right way. I know I'm going the right way, it just doesn't seem like it. It seems like I should be going in a different way. I c oh, I can just drop on the floor here. Okay. And then I can do the other 10 minute song right now since nobody seems to be doing anything. I'll do one more song. Then I'm done. Okay. This one's a bit of a this one's a bit of a fast slip or so. Uh, yeah, if you don't understand me, don't blame me. This one well, you'll see. Did you never give a damn the floor space maybe it's time you had the table stern? Because the interest of all of all got the problem so all the word is guilty. Man of the comers, don't worry for a trap, top drop and roll. You're down for the get go in, motherfucker. Super cocks like a hurry scared of me the other thing we thought. Oh it says another once, found out she made a best of the guard. Step till we asper, think of very bullshit. Just let I don't poke trouble at this shit. Is there any way to break through the noise? What's that last time that got you bad? Gotta be that way if you wanna set a little in front of the hipper. Spurt! Ah, ah, I want to drown me down. I want to stamp you out. Spot! Ah, ah, I want to drown me down. I want to stamp you out. Maybe this way you got spread aloud. Move forward, keep it on, especially then leave it real loud. Separately, I guess it's time to bury your ass with chrome straight to the dome. You're my rat bitch, I didn't stutter. Idiot, don't try to shut and beg. Brother backstab, let you know you're a distance. That's like me, all the ass that you're kissing. Ready to bitch for half my house, I don't hear shit, cause the case gonna lie. Come on, I got a very small tactic, take a living off, I'm going home. Going home when I bet. Ah, shit, like that something, but I'll still protect. And get if you want, but I'll find you, come on, be out, you. Spot! Ah, ah, I want to drag me down. I want to stamp you out. Spot! Ah, ah, I want to drag me down. I want to stamp you out. About time I set this record straight. All you know, thoughts are just making me irate. Sick of my bitch and falling on deaf ears. Where are you gonna be in the next five years? Crew and all the fools and all the politics. Cause his lips already gonna die, gonna make sick. He got dick when they pass out the good stuff. Bam, are you sick of me? Cut it off, cut it off! Fuck me! I'm all out of enemies! 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 Fuck me! Fall out of enemies! Fuck me! Fall out of enemies! Spurt! I want to drag me down! I want to stamp you out! Spurt! I want to drag me down! I want to stamp you out! Spurt! 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 Out! Out! I'm done. You're done? Yeah. So this is not the other 10 minute song, but I like this song a lot. I'm gonna go. I'm tired. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Aquarius, there's trouble later. in your future when your tongue freezes to the back of a speeding bus. Fill that void in your pathetic life by playing whack-a-mole 17 hours a day. Pisces, try to avoid any Virgos or Leos with the Ebola virus. You are the true lord of the dance, no matter what those idiots at work say. Aries, the look on your face will be priceless when you find that 40-pound watermelon in your colon. Trade toothbrushes with an albino dwarf and give a hickey to Meryl Streep. Taurus, you will never find true happiness. What you gonna do? Cry about it. The stars predict tomorrow you'll wake up, do a bunch of stuff, and then go back to sleep. That's your horoscope for today. Yay, 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 yay. That's your horoscope for today. Butter bow, butter bow, butter bow. That's your horoscope for today. Yay, 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 yay. That's your horoscope for today. Gemini, your birthday party will be ruined once again by your explosive flatulence. Your love life will run into trouble when your fiancé hurls a javelin through your chest. Cancer, the position of Jupiter says that you should spend the rest of the week face down in the mud. Try not to roll a shove a roll of duct tape up your nose while taking your driver's test. Leo, now it's not a thing. That was not a good time to photocopy your butt and staple it to your boss's face. Oh no! Eat a bucket of tuna flavored pudding and wash it down with a gallon of strawberry quick. Virgo, all Virgos are extremely friendly and intelligent. Except for you, expect a big surprise today when you wind up with your head impaled upon a stick. That's your horoscope for today. Yay, 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 yay. 
That's your horoscope for today. But your bow, but your bow, but your bow. That's your horoscope for today. Yay, 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 yay. That's your horoscope for today. Now you may find it inconceivable, or at the very least a bit unlikely, that the relative position of the planets in the sky could have a special deep significance or meaning that exclusively applies to only you. But let me give you my assurance that these forecasts and predictions are all based on solid scientific documented evidence, so you would have to be some kind of moron not to realize that every single one of them is absolutely true. Where was I? Libra, a big promotion is just around the corner. If someone much more talented than you, laughter is the very best medicine. Remember that when you're appendix first. Next week, Cap Scorpio, you're ready for an unexpected trip when you fall screaming from an open window. Work a little bit harder on Improving your low self-esteem, you stupid freak. Sagittarius, all of your friends are laughing behind your back. Kill them. Take down all those naked pictures of Ernest Borg and we've got hanging in your Dan Capricorn. The stars say that you're an exciting and wonderful person, but you know they're lying. If I were you, I'd lock my doors and windows and never, 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 never leave my house again. That's your horoscope for today. Yay, 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 yay. That's your horoscope for today. But your bow, but your bow, but your bow. That's your horoscope for today. Yay, 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 yay. That's your horoscope for today. That was fun. Yeah. Where did they go? They're okay. flung. Okay, yeah, you need to catch one. That's right. There's another real one. Here's a few effective one. Is this a jailbreak? Can't see a thing. Okay. <laughs> Neurotoxin production or employee daycare center. I'm going to go to the daycare center. Employee daycare center. It's just a desk and a giant pull down screen. So important that I had to go there. Yep. One of you would read the game without it. I know, right? Yeah. Now what the fuck do I do? Oh, you have to go through the daycare center to get to the neurotoxin deployment center. So yes, it is actually important. Yes. Didn't realize that at first. If you see the giant potato, read whose name it is at the bottom. Okay, over here. Okay, that's not a fall. Good to know, because I can't see. Pretty sure we're going right way, to reassure you. You didn't see the giant potato? No. It's gonna be coming up. Oh, you no, it's this one. You skipped it. Oh, well. It was Shell. That's the name of it at the bottom.
I wonder what people did before they had music. How would things get stuck in their head? I just don't know, actually. Maybe it literally gets stuff stuck in their head. Maybe. Huh? Let's see here. Maybe if someone shoved a CD disc in someone's head, and, now that's, and that's how they started to use the phrase, stuck in their head. Well, let's see here. How far back does music go? Uh, to the caveman, probably. Maybe even back more from... No. Maybe music is the oldest living, oldest sound ever. I guess everything was silent besides. Oh, oh. I'm silent. Yeah. Maybe if there's music, everything was like silence or. Apocalyptic because way, way, way back, like before, I think before dinosaurs. Wait, oh, no, I don't know about the, oh, doors open. The late, the world was unlivable. Like, too much, un, too much deadly gas. And cocaine was like explode. But not. <sighs> oh, that's the pleather thing. Shit, wrong portal. Damn it. I see you face the wrong portal. Hmm. <laughs> Dangerously unlethal levels. So the whole thing's being destroyed because it's dangerously unlethal? Makes sense. Total sense. Okay, fighting GLaDOS. How does this un dangerously unlethal work? Because if it's it neurotoxin, it was created to be lethal. But uh, I don't know why it's destroy joking. why it's destroying everything to be because it's dangerously unlethal. I get the joke of that. You know, I want one of those tu those tubes. That'd be fun to ride in all day. Yeah. As long as you don't get split up right in front of Gladys. That would kind of suck. Or fart. I just don't happen to be farting. Did you know that if you're in a bobsled and it's going down, if someone farts, the smell is caught throughout the bobsled until the end of the run? <laughs> really? Yeah. That is nasty. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. I don't think we mentioned Hitler. You right. EDF said, may I a just ask you mentioned Hitler, because that's why Wired Wiki has left 5-Day Gamers. Pretty sure we did not mention Hitler. I mean, never did. Oh, wait. We didn't mention Hitler, we did 999. Oh, yeah. Hmm. 
Isn't that a word in German? Yeah, it's a word in German. In... Hmm. Well. Oh, over here. Hey, EDF, want to be part of the call? Tell Jess is here. I like how you can randomly just open doors in this game. Yeah. You know about Ratman's Dens, right? What? Ratman's Dens. Ratman? Yeah, Ratman's Dens. I'm confused. There, you know those little secret places you find around the, in the game? Uh, yeah. Those are called Ratman's Dens. Okay. And, uh, and the reason for that is because... Douglas Ratman was a person who was the only person who survived um, the poisoning GLaDOS did. Okay. And yeah. Huh. <laughs> Two turrets and then a box of a turret. And another turret. <laughs> right, you don't actually fight GLaDOS, I forgot about that. over here There we go. Now for the worst idea we've ever had. Yeah. Although, honestly, if we hadn't done this, we would die. So, we make everything a lot worse just to make it all better in the end. Yeah. Dino tuned though. Oh, wow. What? No, I don't need sleep. Just let me keep playing, please. Seriously, if you put me off, I'm still going to be awake. Let us head. Pretty sure he said, like, your software is infunctional. Please consult the manual. Wait a minute. What are you doing? What are you doing? <coughs> Why do we only have a portal gun? Why can't we have a real one? Because portal gun is more badass. 
You just make the person shoot themselves by putting a part behind you and one behind them and ducking quickly. And the bullet just hit them in the back of the head and killed them. This. I want an actual gun and kill that thing. What? I've been almost dying. I thought of all the plans. Well, you just sat there and broke stuff. If he really wants to stream, I'll let him stream from that, from, I'm assuming that'll be, like, 1 to 2.30 my time. I'm moron! Moron ain't built to make me an idiot. Pretty mm -hmm. much, yeah, Moron could do that, easily. That's mainly what morons do. <coughs> morons kind of punch people a lot. Yeah. You must construct additional pylons. You must construct additional pylons. Wait, what is that from again? I've heard it multiple Battlestar parts. Galactica. Uh. Never seen it, but I know it's from that. Purpose of building the dumbest moron who ever lived. And you put him in charge of the entire facility. Falling, 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 falling. BAM! Yeah, that plan's fine, EDF. Edif. It's... I like how it's just me and my evil twin on the call and we're not being complete and total assholes to each other. I know. I like being nice to each other. I'm okay with that. Yeah. I think we're just too tired to think of murder plans. Yeah, no. I'm too murdered out for a while. Okay, then. I do need one thing. I'll be right back. Okay. You know what? When life gives you lemons, don't make lemonade! Make life take the lemons back! I don't want these damn lemons! What am I supposed to do with these? I'll burn your house down! With the lemons! I'll make a combustible lemon that burns your house down!
Okay. Onwards and upwards. Once I figure out where the f hell I'm supposed to go. Okay. I'm back with a handful of jelly bean jar mashers. Okay then. Yeah. They're they're things. I can tell they're things. But that's pretty much all I no no, I'm just kidding. I know a lot about those. You like them? Eh, kinda. Depends on the flavor. It's much the same thing with jelly beans. I'm gonna pay a about jelly beans, just mixing them. In different types of flavors. Where am I supposed to zoom to? Okay. Keep on the way you're going. Oh, I'm quite much farther than in the stream, probably. There's a formal surface over there. Hang on. You need to do. I'm sorry. Which one we need to zoom? It's way up there. It said to zoom, so. Way. Hang on. In the wrong area on my stream, on the stream where I'm at. From where I'm at, you're looking towards the place you need to go, you need to go behind, look behind you. <clears throat> you can move the area you're at into the more, um, more open space. Oh, there you go, there you are, there. See, another place we need to go. Now look up from there. I see and, it. Yeah. There we go. That was one of the hardest pieces of navigation I've done in a while. It was just so far away. Jesus is really delayed, like 30 seconds. Even more. I think I might have just returned to where I was before. No, you didn't. Maybe. Oh, she did. Maybe not. I don't think so. It says same in game. Which usually means you're going the right way. Mm-hmm. Now it's the hardest part of the game. Aperture Laboratories. You played the first portal, right? Yeah. Beat it? Yeah. Okay. So, you know in the slot where you need to get to after you get on the platform that takes you to the incinerator? What? The platform that takes you to the incinerator, right? Yeah. That you get on? You know the platform across the room when you get you there? Uh, um. 
Oh shit. What? Hang on, just give me a second. Okay, mm -hmm. I know what I want to do here. And they put a portal in each room. That's how you win. That part. Wow, I'm an idiot. Did you see what I said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of jerk for me to be get that kind of bad. So I hope you would still. I know, I can't see. Be back once again with more jelly beans because I'm really hungry. What? I don't know what's going on anymore. By the way, I'm pretty sure I won the Tweet Day prize. I didn't even have to do that much. All I had to do was spam a few hundred times and that's it. Spam like 600 times the last time. I think people just realized that they really have no competition. So, they just didn't care. Oh god. Where in the hell am I? More jelly beans. Okay then. This is a mutated fat jelly bean. Okay. What the hell? Amazing. Where the hell am I supposed to go? Oh. Oh, yeah. I see it. Just barely cannot shoot a portal up there. Yeah, I can't shoot a portal up there. Huh. Interesting.
Hmm. By the way, I won the Twitter spam day. You did? Pretty sure I had zero competition. Ah. Uh. Because people all knew who would win. Yeah. So why compete? Mm -hmm. Okay, what the hell? I'm stuck. As the stream wasn't so delayed. Oh, and then you still stuck. Oh, the thing I was looking at isn't a portable surface at all. Okay. Mm. How do I get over there? <laughs> That's my portal. Way up there. Interesting. Damn it. How the hell do you get up there? What the hell do you do? I am more lost than ever. And I figured this out on my own before. Hey. Pretty sure. You need my help for this? Maybe. Okay. So if I'm correct, when you face the entire cave part, it goes way far out. If you look to your left, to the left wall, there's a place to place a portal, and you need like do, yeah, you do that, and you depend on the walls from there. All I remember is you going, you falling down and going super far. Well, I, that doesn't, that wouldn't make much sense. No, there's a trick where you gain momentum and you go pretty far. Oh. How? 
They just aren't portable floors. I know. Wait, hold on. And the tower is a portable down there. Oh, hmm. <laughs> Neither. It's hard to tell what's what because the quality's kind of poor. <laughs> Yay, I've won tons of 5 day gamers prizes. Yeah, there's no portable surface by the tower. Okay. Um. Hmm. It's a little far fetched. It's at the wall to your <coughs> right, left. It's somewhere around there. What's the point of the far, of the far right section if they're just sticking to the far far left? You see those buildings were at the far left. Yeah. They got the wall. Is there's a, there's a five, uh, portable spot there somewhere. There, where you're going is so the where I'm seeing right now. You're going to the right near the entrance you came from. But now you're going back to where I need you to go. You look around over there. Now you're going back to the place I don't want you to go. Dude, I'm. What I'm doing is way. I know. Different from what you're seeing. I know. If we pause it and wait a second. Okay, this is not the way it's supposed to go at all. Head yeah, check. The, 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 the secret way you just went into gets you an achievement. Well, no, not that way. No, wrong way. This is it. There's an area somewhere you achievement, but not the care for that right now. Okay. If only the quality go better. <sighs> the thing. Okay. Okay, move to the very edge to your left. And I need to look around there. You can't see anything when you're on that part of the railing. Can't expect those kind of. If I was playing this, I would. Some, okay, where I see you pointing way over there. By the way, wait, hold on a second. Hold on a second. I think I remember. I remember now. Okay. It is by that wall on the left, but I think where I see you at, it's behind the giant tower. The space you need a portal to. Hmm. Yeah, that's not helping. <clears throat> Oops.
Yay, I died. I'm so stuck it's not even funny anymore. Wait a minute. Wait just a minute. No, I've got nothing. Okay, hey, give me a moment. Think about this. <laughs> I see tons of places that would be perfect spots to put a portable wall that they didn't. How are you supposed to figure this out on your own? I don't think anybody figures these out on their own anymore. I think people just look into the code as soon as the game's released and then post how to do's as soon as the game's released. Five minutes left. Wouldn't mind getting past this one spot in the five minutes when I die. I've already died twice. I think I... I, j I remember now. I'm just kissing the forehead. You know that room you were at a little bit ago? Where they just a busted door. Mm-hmm. Try pressing E on the door. You mean square? Square, yeah. Let me just get there. So you know it's kind of far away. Since I died again. And since this isn't actually the room you start, so... This room you start is the one at the bottom. Yeah, I tried pressing E before, it did nothing. Okay, hold on. Stay, wait, stay in that room. Okay. Oh! I need to pull this lever. Oh, yeah, Le lever. And now I can go in here. Yay, we passed it! I was close enough. Olympians. Cave Johnson. He's the Johnson of the caves. This is Tuesday. This is Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah, three minutes. I am now walking across the rafters. You know, we need to go in two minutes, so I'll just be done here. Ah. Turn off the system. Yes. Okay, I'll, I'll just let uh, Shy Guy take over right now. So, we will be streaming again. Probably not, not again for this charity stream, but I will be in the chat and possibly co comming on. Skylanders, so Same here. talk to you guys in then.